It is far cheaper to protect water resources than to clean up after pollution. Protection, analysis, innovation and maintenance of aquatic environment ensures the sustainability of their ecosystem services. Looking at this initiative, UKM under the Centre for Water Research and Analysis, or better known as ALIR, is playing their part in equipping the water industry with knowledge, know-how, analysis and innovative way in preserving our water system, as well as promoting the awareness of quality water for life. Our main role, I would say, number one priority is research into the chemistry of water. Uh, what are the pollutants that are in water and how we can improve on the way that we treat our water. And also we've, uh, we've got uh, quite a number of researchers working on coming up with new products to do very rapid analysis of pollutants in water. Mama Alir ini, uh, saya bertugas sebagai uh, uh, manager untuk training. Yeah. Dan uh, actually kita ada uh, dua section untuk training ini. Uh, pertama adalah in-house training. Uh, iaitu untuk membangunkan uh, kemahiran modal insan bekerja-bekerja di makamal ini sendiri dan yang keduanya kita cuba mengembangkan lagi uh, kemahiran modal insan ini uh, pada bekerja-bekerja uh, di luar ya, uh, seperti di, di uh, syarikat syarikat uh, apa ni, uh, industri pengelolaan air uh, industri manufacturing ya, even uh, di um, government sector ya. Uh, minat saya ialah bahan-bahan yang agak uh, kekal dalam uh, persekitaran dalam bahasa Inggerisnya persistent organic pollutants ya. jadi ini menjadi satu masalah kerana kalau zaman dulu uh, pesticide seperti DDT itu amat baik ya, sebab dia boleh musnahkan uh, uh, per -per perosak per uh, makhluk-makhluk perosak atau yang merosak serangga ya. Jadi itu satu bahan kimia yang baik-baik. Tapi lama kelamaan didapati bahawa bahan-bahan yang mengandung mengandungi klorin ini uh, membahayakan kerana dia dapat boleh menyebabkan kanser, dia dapat mengganggu dalam sistem hormon manusia. Besides extensive research and analysis on water system, UKM and Alir has led the way in creating innovative products such as biosensors. Biosensors for on-site environmental pollution monitoring were designed for the detections of toxic phenols, herbicides, pesticides, heavy metals and general toxicity in water. Our technology, which is called biosensor and chemical sensor technology, we are able to bring our device to the field and do the water analysis on-site. And this do not require an expert, so anybody can do it. It's a very simple instruction, step one, step two, and you read the reading. So this technology basically is quite new that uh, we have developed here and uh, the technology itself can be miniaturized in such a way that uh, as I showed you just now, we have very small device and what is more important for this device is that they are disposable, that means uh, for one use you can throw away. So the cost of uh, production is low and everybody can afford. So with this sort of device, we can really bring water pollution control to the community. It's no longer the work of the scientists or, or the enforcer. Impacts of climate change pose further challenges to water quality in addition to the growing sources of pollution. The affected ecosystem cannot cope with additional stress such as caused by climate change. The ability to serve as breeding and nursery grounds, storm protectors and blue carbon sinks is thus further reduced. Water quality and socio-economic issues such as poverty, livelihoods, health and equality are closely linked. Providing and maintaining safe drinking water and sanitation are central to alleviating poverty and improving the quality of life for billions of people. Committed to the Millennium Development Goals MDG, the international community is still far from achieving the MDG target of reducing by half the number of people without access to safe water and sanitation by 2015. The R, which is the uh, World Water Development Report, indicated that water factors such as the need to collect domestic water play a large part in school attendance. So, presumably some of these kids or some of these children do not go to school because they have to uh, help the uh, parents to go and collect water and hence 
um, they are um, absent schools. We all live downstream and therefore protecting water sources from pollution is everyone's responsibility. It cannot be left to public authorities alone. All sectors, public and private, must take appropriate and adequate action to prevent pollution. Empowerment is very important. Uh, usually we hear members of the public say, oh, government should do this, government should do that, university should do this, university should do that. But it's very limited what we can do if the public is not empowered. And how do the public empower themselves? They have to change the way that they do things. For example, uh, if we were to brush our teeth, we shouldn't let the water go running. Why? Because in order for clean water to come to the house, it involves a lot of energy, it involves a lot of treatment to get the water to be of a certain standard that is safe to be delivered to the house. And um, how, when we go for picnics, when, how do we treat our rivers is also very important. Because the rivers do not get polluted on its own. Who is it that is polluting the rivers? It's us. We, the members of the public, are the ones that are polluting the river. So we should empower ourselves, clean up our rivers. If we go for a picnic, for example, do not leave our rubbish behind. Uh, if you are working in an industry, you have to ensure that the wastewater that you uh, that comes out of your your factory is treated before it actually goes into the river. So definitely, that is the true empowerment to the uh, members of the public. Clean water is life. We already have the know-how and skills to address it. Let us now have the will. Human life and prosperity rest on our actions today to be the stewards, not polluters, of this most precious resource, our clean water.